Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name's Lavinia, and I post beauty videos regarding makeup, skincare, acne, acne positivity, and all of that good stuff three times a week, every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday at 8 a.m. Mountain Center time. So if that is something you're interested in, I would love for you to join my channel by hitting the big red subscribe button. So in today's video, I am going to be talking about the Inkyless new service called My Inky Coach. And basically my experience with the whole service and kind of everything I have gotten out of it. So um, this is going to be a very informational video. Um, you guys are going to be deep diving into my journey with me and I'm going to be walking you through the whole thing. So this is super, super exciting. Um, this video is in partnership with the Inculus to talk about their new service, My Inky Coach. And I got the chance to try out this service for six weeks. But after that, I have been continuing on my skincare journey with the Inculus and using these products on a day-to-day -day basis. So I have a lot to say in this video. Um, and a lot of things that I want to tell you guys about, so let's get right on into it. Oh, you tell me stories, you tuck me in, and the second you leave, I call you right back to check for my sister. So let's get started by talking about my skin type and my skin goals walking into this journey. So first off, I want to talk about what this service even is. So it is called My Inky Coach and it is part of their Ask Inky kind of overall service. So they do have a couple options when it comes to helping you with um, skincare education. After creating an account on their website, you can take a quiz and just get matched with some products that um, are believed to work with your general skin type. Or you can use the Ask Inky um, service by messaging through their website to get get answers to your skincare questions but I would say my inky coach is a service that I would definitely utilize because it's completely free and it's a very very good way to educate yourself in skincare and kind of help you with your skincare goals so it's a one-on-one -on -one, very personal experience with a skincare coach and this is where you get six weeks of coaching through my inky coach um, completely free and they're really going to help you you know assess your skin um, kind of target those goals you are looking for and the products that you can use to to achieve those goals. And the great part is, um, is you don't even have to buy products from the Inky List. You can go into this with the products you already have in your skincare routine, in your bathroom, and just ask, hey, how do I use these products? Because I know for myself, I started getting acne at the age of 13. I'm now 20. So I've gone through many years of testing different products, finding different routines for myself. And I would say I'm a bit more comfortable with putting together a skincare routine. But I know back then when I was just struggling with acne and didn't know what to do, I could have really used a service like this to guide me. And I know a bunch of my friends even now, or even people older than me who, you know, ask me, hey, I have these products. How do I use them? Or, hey, I'm at the drugstore or I'm at Sephora or uh, looking at all the hundreds of skincare products, I have no idea what to look for. I have no idea what to get and no idea what to use on my skin. So using a service like this can be awesome. And the fact that the Inculus is offering it for free with any products you have is just absolutely amazing to just educate and um, inform people on skincare because knowledge is power. So that's kind of the overall on the service itself. Now, how to get started, as I said, create an account and then basically you will just get matched with a skincare coach. Then you can just find your skincare coach and then book a time in their calendar it's super easy you pick the day that you can meet and also the time and they will send you a link for a virtual meeting time and it's that quick and easy then you just discuss with them so that's how I set up my first um, meeting with my skincare coach Dominica and I absolutely adore her she is amazing um, I had such great conversations with her and she really really helped me with my routine so with that we started by talking about my skincare goals and my skin type as well so our first session is just kind of like me getting to know your skin what you're using already yeah. and then creating a recipe around this and uh, when you were signing up to the session you gave your main skin concerns which are breakouts yeah. appearance of acne scars and improving hydration i do have acne prone skin um and it's mostly hormonal acne i started getting it around like the age of like 13 and really um i get like flare-ups more um around like based on like my menstrual cycle mm -hmm. or um, very stress induced too. Um, I am a university student. So, you know, right now during midterm season, oh it's God. just like, boom. <laughs> um, so that's like a thing I find when I have high stress levels, I usually get bigger flare ups and then 
once I kind of de-stress, they usually go down. And I would describe them more as like the ones that are under the skin more and mm -hmm. can be like painful and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I let her know that I had dry, acne prone, sensitive skin. And with that, I often struggle with finding products that can be really effective at targeting my hormonal acne since I often get those deep cysts that really hurt on the skin, um, as well as targeting, you know, acne scars and pigmentation left behind from my acne. But at the same time, you know, making sure my skin is nourished and that I'm supplying my dry, dehydrated and sensitive skin with what it needs, as well as avoiding ingredients like fragrances or irritants to make sure my skin doesn't get too sensitive. And after discussing that, we put together a routine that we thought would work for my skin. So we decided on two cleansers to do a double cleansing method for AM and PM, and that would be the Oak Cleansing Balm um, because this is really good for sensitive skin as well as removing makeup, also hydrating dry skin, and also the salicylic acid cleanser as this would really help with breakouts due to that 2% salicylic acid in here without being too drying or overbearing on my skin. For the morning serums, we decided to go with hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. Now, I actually have been loving these products for the past like nine months, so these were already products that I was using in my routine, but since I used them so much, I was completely out of them and had to get new ones. Then we decided to integrate two new serums into my routine, the 15% vitamin C and EGF. And Inky has 15% vitamin vitamin C, which is very lightweight, also in the consistency, which I find very important. Sometimes vitamin Cs are just too thick and rich. That one is very lightweight and it brightens the skin. Maybe you'd like to try this one. As well as the polyglutamic acid. So it's way more hydrating than hyaluronic acid. Um, and it's kind of product that goes right before your moisturizer. And it's the last serum in your routine and what it will do you you know you apply all of your targeted serums and this one on top and it just layers like it just sandwiches the hydration so it will okay. really help your dry and dehydrated skin i was really excited for these because i was told that the vitamin c would really help with you know being an antioxidant to protect my skin from free radical damage but also help with those dark spots without being too sensitizing i've always looked for a vitamin c that won't sting my sensitive skin and i was reassured by dominica that this would work perfectly as well as the polyglutamic acid to hydrate my skin. And she kind of wanted to see what I thought of it in comparison to the hyaluronic acid. For moisturizer, we decided on the Simbrite Moisturizer, um, just because it's a great formula that kind of works with all different actives. And moving on to the night routine, we kept most of that routine the same, but she did introduce me to a few different night treatments. Um, we brought in the Ceramide Night Treatment to help with my dry skin. And you also mentioned about liking ceramides and thicker moisturizer for the night time. So we also have a ceramide night treatment, which got ceramides in it, obviously, <laughs> and it's got a thicker consistency. So it's really good to hydrate the skin, nourish the skin. We also brought in the C50 blemish night treatment to help with my hormonal acne. And that one has a C50 ingredient, which is an ingredient in itself plus mm -hmm. salicylic acid and it's like a breakout blemish treatment for the night time the rosehip oil to nourish my skin and help with dark spots uh, it's 100 percent you know rosehip oil what it helps with is your skin's texture and appearance and the skin tone as well as the tranexamic acid night treatment to also help with diminishing those acne scars i was already a big fan of the succinic acid treatment for spot treating blemishes so we kept this in my routine to be applied um, a few times a day when needed and then highlighting that i shouldn't be using the niacinamide at the same time at night when i was using the c50 um, or with any salicylic acid so after putting together that routine i got to work on starting to integrate the products and that's where you guys saw all these product trials on my channel and I was so happy with these products um, and I'm honestly so honored to work on this video with the Inky List in partnership with them because I've been a longtime lover of their formulas for so long. If you guys look at my channel, you know, over the past few months you would see lots of Inky List reviews so this was just such an amazing experience for me. But I wanted to make sure that I was integrating these products one by one into my routine to make sure that nothing was going wrong and that if I had, you know, a sensitivity or a reaction to something, I knew exactly what it was and I could cut it out. So I integrated all these products slowly into my routine over time. Okay, so it is time to cleanse the skin. I just have some sunscreen on right now, um, but I'm still going to double cleanse. So I'm going to take the oat cleansing balm, squeeze some of this out. I like this cleansing balm i've been using this for a long time like i did a video on it a while while back on my channel um i would say the only thing like right now i'm not wearing any eye makeup so it's fine and it's a good first cleanse like, it's, like and it's very hydrating and like calming to the skin 
the only thing i would say is for like eye makeup like mascara waterproof mascara it's not the best like it does kind of leave a film around the eye area then for the second cleanse i'm gonna go in with the salicylic acid cleanser i am obsessed with this stuff guys it's so good foams a little and i've been using this every morning and every night i like it because i think it's really helping with my acne prone skin and pores and stuff with that salicylic acid but it's not overly stripping to the skin which some acne cleansers can really be so really like that vitamin c and i just press it into the skin so far i've really been enjoying the texture of this now i'm gonna go in with niacinamide hyaluronic acid polyglutamic acid really been enjoying this one and then for moisturizer, the Simbrite Moisturizer. So overall, I think I'm really enjoying this morning routine just because my skin feels very hydrated, glowy, and just nourished after I do it. So yeah, I'm gonna obviously continue with this exact same routine in the mornings every single day. So it is the nighttime. I'm gonna do my skincare routine and I'm gonna call this night one since my night routine will change so much with some of the treatments. So this is gonna be technically night one so i've already cleansed my skin with the oat cleansing balm and the salicylic acid cleanser and now i'm gonna go in with the hyaluronic acid serum next i'm gonna go in with my polyglutamic acid now i'm dealing with some hormonal breakouts right now as you can see on my chin here and from integrating this into my routine i found that it really helps with hormonal acne so i just go ahead and take like a pump and a half like so and slather this on my whole face as the last step in my skincare routine not using a moisturizer night two of the skincare routine i just cleansed my skin with the oat cleansing balm to take off my makeup and then i have the salicylic acid cleanser in my shower and i just used that um so for night two Gonna continue with the same serums, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and I am experiencing some breakouts right now, so I'm gonna use the succinic acid spot treatment. Go in with the Simbrite moisturizer, and then since this is day two, this is the day I'm gonna go in with the rosehip oil, pot it into the skin. So day three will be focused around the ceramide night treatment. Night four of the routine, we're treating acne scars today with the tranexamic acid on this night. And of course, we're skipping moisturizer with this. And then it came time to have my second consultation with Dominica. Um, how have you been? Your skin is looking so, like, even. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so within the second consultation, I had some thoughts on the products and what I really enjoyed using. My cleansing routine, I was really happy with. The only thing I would say was the oat cleansing balm. Um, I just found that it um, isn't the best for removing eye makeup. So I would kind of integrate another, you know, eye makeup remover or just make sure I'm closing my eyes and not opening them when using that. And then right off the bat, I really was enjoying the C50 treatment. Um, almost enjoying it a little too much. I, I found because I was like oh my gosh this is so good so I was using it like <laughs> so much um just to like really uh calm down those like bigger hormonal cysts and then I yeah. felt like I was like okay maybe I need to like stop using it so much because I did get like um some dryness around like my chin stuff but I do have dry skin too so um mm -hmm. that was kind of my bad so then I like gave it a pause for a bit and made sure to use like uh, moisturizer for a couple nights and it was fine after that. I found I was going a bit overboard with this and using it too many times um, in like a row and it was kind of drying out my skin a little bit but boy can this help with acne oh my goodness it was amazing on my hormonal acne so I would definitely recommend it for that and I really enjoyed it you guys can go see the full trial video I did on this but um, we basically just discussed that I need to have some self-control and try to not use this as often, even though it's amazing for acne. I also was very impressed by the polyglutamic acid. I 
became obsessed with this and using it as a makeup primer. Um, it's really light on the skin, but feels really good and kind of, you know, smooths out the skin before makeup. So this became one of my favorites, especially for my dehydrated skin. The vitamin C I was loving and she was right. This didn't sting my skin at all. And the ceramide night treatment I also really enjoyed. I just found I needed a little bit more something with this. So she advised me that I can actually use my moisturizer um, together with this to get more hydration and moisturization but I would have to just wait about half an hour when when you do I would recommend you to wait like between five minutes to half an hour like right. just so the product on top doesn't pile up because then it's just a waste isn't it so what I would do is apply my full skin routine with moisturizer wait 30 minutes to an hour and then apply the ceramide night treatment and that worked really well for me because basically you don't want to apply it right away or the product can pill and then you really don't get any of the benefits now in the second consultation we did also make some adjustments to my routine so I told her that I had been experiencing some eye puffing when I wake up in the morning definitely the caffeine one and uh, if you wanted to go for an extra effort effort you should keep it in the fridge okay yeah. and then in the morning like it will totally deep up and it's very lightweight as well so if you wear makeup like any concealers it doesn't crease it doesn't cake up as well so it's great for both am and pm so she recommended me the caffeine eye cream and i started using this right away and um you know to help with that puffiness around the eyes and kind of wake me up in the morning i also kept this in my skincare fridge to get that cooling effect as well and another change we made is i told her you know i like the simbright moisturizer but i just feel like it's not working for me the way I wish it would. So we switched out to the Omega water cream and I love this so much. It's a really light texture um, and was really hydrating and moisturizing to my skin. So that was a really great um, thing that we did there just to kind of replace it with this moisturizer and see how it goes. I basically walked her through each individual product, what, how it was working for me, and we made those adjustments um, to make sure that the routine was doing what it should for my skin. I definitely wanted something that could do a bit of depuffing as lately i am definitely overworked and wake up really really puffy in the morning stepping away from the simbright moisturizer and introducing the omega water cream this one i feel like will be really good for my skin it has a really light texture to it like that water type texture and i really like how it feels on my skin it's super hydrating and moisturizing and it makes my skin look super glowy fast forwarding after uh, using these products you know every day in my routine we got to the final consultation at six weeks how are you tell me about your journey i guess it's our third and final meeting so you must have your final thoughts and like final favorites i guess or maybe not yes. favorites and we just love to know how it happened you know how it is um, and there I told her that, you know, I found the Omega water cream was kind of, you know, not working for me on one night in particular. And that was when I used it with the rosehip oil. So basically we just went back to the Simbright moisturizer to be used on the night that I was using the rosehip oil. And this combination was perfect for me. I really enjoyed this stuff. We assessed my skin, you know, at the start of the progress and at the end. And I'm here to tell you guys, my skin has never been this nourished, this hydrated, this glowy. I get asked all the time, what is on your skin? And I'm like, oh, it's just it's just skincare because it just feels so glowy, so nourished. And you know, I experience acne, I experience breakouts, but I feel like with this routine, I was really able to nourish my skin and that really helped it heal. But at the same time, you know, we did integrate those acne products in there to help, um, but we didn't overbear my skin with just acne products. And I think that was really important. It's something that I could really, really um, thank the My Inky Coach service for helping me do. I definitely learn more about my skin here and um, I think I learned that my skin is more dehydrated than I thought because after using the polyglutamic acid as well as the hyaluronic acid um, all together in one routine I realized I need these hydrators in my routine to make sure my skin looks plump and glowy. I also found my absolute favorite moisturizer in the world the Omega water cream. If you're a makeup wearer you absolutely need this in your life. It's so lightweight um, and feels like water but it does such a good job at moisturizing the skin and giving you this beautiful glow. This product right here is going to be a must-have for me the C50 blemish treatment. I've never found a product that works so well on my hormonal acne as this one did and the vitamin C amazing. Love how it feels on the skin and doesn't sting my skin but I can actually see those results. I will say this uh, routine kind of put me a little bit out of my comfort level too with using an oil on my face. I always thought I have acne. 
I shouldn't be using an oil. I love this stuff though. The rosehip oil is so nourishing. And if you have oily skin too, try this out. See how you like it because it might not be what you think it is. I definitely feel, you know, overall after these six weeks, I know more about my skin. I know more about what my skin needs and the ingredients I can use to target those issues. I also loved how, you know, personal the experience was and how comfortable it was. Um, you know, you sit down with someone and it really just felt like you were chatting with a friend about skincare and getting that advice. And sometimes it can be intimidating to ask for help on your skin or going to a dermatologist um, or you know standing in a Sephora looking at hundreds of products just confused on where to start so this can be a really easy way to just start in your skincare journey start learning about skincare and getting that knowledge through a very comfortable one-on-one -on -one session I also loved that you know they're not pushing their products down your throat I've never seen a service like this but you know some of those online quizzes and stuff it's like okay here are the products that will work for you you need our products whereas you can go in there with whatever products you already have and they will help you out but even though I use products from the Inky List throughout these six weeks I was very comfortable to say hey this product just didn't work for me the way I wanted to and Dominica was amazing at just being like okay of course because everyone's skin is different um let's try something else let's try this instead and boom I found a product that I really really enjoyed so um it's very easy to make adjustments um they're awesome at just listening to what you need for your skin and they're really there to help you with your skincare goals as far as communication you know we did have our three sessions over these six weeks but it was very easy to communicate through email with her and just set up meeting times or if I needed you know just some advice um um, really quickly I could send her a question and she would answer and it was just really really helpful and very easy to communicate and be able to get my questions answered overall I'm so happy with how my skin is looking I definitely feel like my skincare goals were achieved you know skincare is all about progress over perfection as James Welsh says and I truly stand behind that you know I have acne I have acne scars but I feel so much better in my skin now I feel like it's so glowy so hydrated nourished I've been wearing like no face makeup so much recently I just do the rest of my makeup and I love how my skin looks even with my acne and my acne scars it just looks so plump and hydrated and glowy I'm obsessed and I think overall the way this service is set up the amount of time they give you is amazing um, I think six weeks is a pretty ideal time to test out products and kind of find the ones that work for you and the ones that don't it gives you enough time for your skin to actually react to the products because it takes about 28 days for your cells to turn over so that way you can really tell if there's a difference there um so I think it's definitely enough time to do so as well as to make those adjustments and be able to curate that routine so overall as I've already mentioned I'm obsessed with the results I found and I'm obsessed with the products I also discovered I would have to say my top new products the omega water cream for sure for sure the polyglutamic acid I'm obsessed with um the c50 if you have hormonal acne or just acne in general this is such an interesting product i've never seen a vitamin c and salicylic acid together that just work like a powerhouse to diminish acne it's amazing um the 15 percent vitamin c i really enjoyed i even found some other products that i normally wouldn't have put into a skincare routine like the rosehip oil like the caffeine eye cream um and even the ceramide treatment was a really good just help for my dry skin on those days when i was needing it and i also you know went back to some of the products that i was already loving like the cleansers and the um serums like the hyaluronic and the niacinamide so overall i'm really obsessed with the routine i love the inculus like full transparency transparency I love how affordable they are I love how they put their customers first and that is why I was so happy about this partnership and to work with them because I just think they're an amazing company and I will always support a company that puts their consumers first and really is there to make a change and I definitely think they are doing that um, by making skincare and skincare knowledge accessible to everyone so that is it guys that is my full experience with the my inky coach service I had an amazing time I discovered some amazing products and hopefully this video was helpful to you in learning a bit more about this service if you saw it online or if you saw it on their website and you were kind of confused about what it was this is what it is and if you've never heard of it definitely go check it out I definitely think everyone could use a little more skincare knowledge and just kind of figure out what's going on with their skin so this is definitely a very good service that I think you should take advantage of it's free um, you can talk to some amazing skincare coaches who are just amazing people in general and find some products that 
will really work for you. So excited to do my skincare routine all the time when I'm using these. So um, overall, I had an amazing experience and hopefully you guys will too. Thank you so much to The Ink List for partnering with me on this video and helping me to bring out this content to you guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also make sure to turn on my post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. I will have all the products that I talked about today in the description box if you are looking into any of them. Um, and I'll also have all the different trials I did on every every single one of these products down below because there's so many videos out there let me just put them all there so you guys can see if you want to deep dive on any of these products individually and the individual reviews if you want to see more of my content you can go check me out on the acne channel i'm a weekly host on there and you can also follow me on instagram and tiktok at lavinia Rosanda. thank you guys so so much for watching hope you're having a fantastic day or night i love you all so so much and i'll see you in the next video bye oh you tell me stories Tuck me in And the second you leave